Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve the hacker rank question validating credit card numbers. The question is you and Frederick are good friends. Yesterday Frederick received n credit cards from ABC Bank. He wants to validate whether his credit card numbers are valid or not. You happen to be great at regular expression so he is asking for your help. A valid credit card from ABC Bank has the following characteristics. The first condition is it must start with 4, 5 or 6. The second condition is it must contain exactly 16 digits. The third condition is it must only contain digits 0 to 9. The fourth condition is it may have digits in group of 4 separated by hyphen. The fifth condition is it must not use any other separator like space or underscore etc. The last condition is it must not have 4 or more consecutive repeated digits. We are given some examples of valid credit card numbers. These credit card numbers are valid. These are sum of invalid credit card numbers. The first credit card number is not valid because it has 17 digits. The second credit card number is not valid because it has consecutive same digits repeated more than 4 times. The third credit card number is not valid because it has separators other than hyphen. The fourth credit card number is not valid because it contains non-digit characters. The last credit card number is not valid because it does not start with either 4, 5 or 6. I hope the question is clear. Now let's get into the implementation. I am going to solve this without using the regular expression using Python programming language. As a first step, let me get the number of credit cards num equals to input of number of credit cards. Once I get the number of credit cards from the user, I will iterate through the number and get the credit card numbers. For i in range of, I am going to convert this number to an integer. and get the credit card numbers. I am going to save this as yes. I am getting the actual credit card numbers which is input from the user. Using a function, I will check if the credit card number is valid. If it is valid, I will print as valid else I will print invalid. If check is true, I am passing the credit card number, then I will print valid. If not, I will print invalid. Now, let me define the check function and validate if all the conditions mentioned in the question are satisfied. DEF check and I will pass the credit card number. These are the conditions mentioned in the question. If, if all the conditions are satisfied at the end, I will return true. The first condition is it must start with 4, 5 or 6. Let me implement that. If s of 0 not equal to 4 and s of 0 which is the first digit not equal to 5 and s of 0 
not equal to 6 then I will return false return false the next condition is the credit card should contain exactly 16 digits let me implement that a credit card can have hyphen as its separator so let me remove the hyphen and see if the number of digits are 16 let me implement that s yes dot replace of hyphen to nothing and check the length if the length is not equal to 16 return false if the credit card number is 16 digit we will return true the next condition is it must only consist of digit 0 to 9 let me implement that I will iterate over all the digits of the credit card and see if it is a digit for i in range of length of s which is the credit card number if s of i equals to hyphen we can just continue hyphen we can just continue if not of s of i is is digit we will immediately return false return false so a hyphen is allowed so we are returning continue if it is not a digit we will immediately return false the next condition is it may have digits in group of four separated by one hyphen let me implement that i'm going to declare a variable d equal to zero to count the number of digits for i in range of length of the credit card if s of i equals to hyphen and the digits not equal to 4 we will immediately return false Let me specify this in a single quotes for i in if we encounter a hyphen and the number of digits before that is 4 then we can reset the digits else if s of i equals to a hyphen and digits equal to 4 then we can reset the digits to 0 else we can increment the digits Let me explain this once again. We are iterating through all the digits of the credit card. If it is a digit, we are incrementing D to 1. If the element is a hyphen and we have 4 digits before that, then we are resetting the digits to 0. If we encounter a hyphen, 
with the number of digits before that which is not equal to 4. That means that the digits are not in group of 4. So, we are returning false. The next condition is it must not use any other separators like space or underscore etc. Let me implement that. If there is a space in S or there is an underscore in S, then we are returning false. Return false. The last condition is it must not have four or more consecutive repeated digits. Let me implement that. For checking the condition, I am declaring a variable c and initializing it to 0. And before doing any validation, I am removing if there are any hyphens. cc equal to s dot replace of hyphen to nothing. Now, I am going to see if two consecutive digits are same, I am going to increment the counter C. If the counter is equal to 3, that means that four consecutive digits are same, then we will immediately return false. Let me implement that. For I in range of length of CC, minus 1 because I don't have to iterate the last digit. If cc of i not equal to the next digit, cc of i plus 1, if the digits are different, we are resetting the counter to 0. Else, if the digits are same, We are incrementing this counter to 1. If c equals to 3, that means that 4 consecutive digits are same, then we will immediately return false. That is the end of this program. We have implemented all the conditions mentioned in the question. Let me copy this code and paste it in hacker rank and see if the solution is accepted. Let me run the code. The code accepted 6 inputs and 6 credit cards are passed. We got the expected result as the valid and invalid credit cards. Both the output and the expected output matched. Now let me submit the code. All the test cases satisfied. I hope you like this approach and I am sure that you learned something new today. I will see you in yet another interesting video. Thank you.